Hi, this is Chris again. Uh, I've got a couple other uh, interesting finds here for um, uh, records. Come on. Let's go visit our friend. Come on. Let's try that again. <laughs> Hi, this is Chris again, and uh, I got a couple other interesting little records. So it look like Mickey Mouse ears. Uh, these are uh, 78 records shellac on a label called Little Wonder. Uh, they did some children's records, I guess, uh, right around 100 years ago. These, al these little uh, records are 100 years old. Um, this one is uh, called the Under the Double Eagle Band, which is a great name. They are single-sided discs. Uh, this one being number th number 30, number 80 is California and You Quartet. Um, and according to this um, very old uh, reference material that I've had for a long time, it's, I don't know if you other record nerds know about, you probably do about the Almost Complete 78 uh, Record Dating Guide. I don't know if this was ever officially put out. It was passed ar around to uh, nerds back in the day. I got it about 25 years ago. Uh, looks like it was done in about 1979, 1980. Uh, Xeroxed uh, or mimeographed probably at the time, whatever they called it back then. Um, but according to this uh, uh, very interesting. I've used this a lot for a lot of things. I'm not sure how accurate it still is. I'm sure a lot of information has been uh, uncovered since that time. But <clears throat> Little Wonder Records, um, it says only partial information is currently available on the series of five inch records pressed by Columbia for Woolworths and sold also by Sears. The series was used for other five inch single faced pressings, notably Harper Columbia children's recordings. And they usually give you uh, the, uh, the number there. Um, and then they, they try to, est you can try to estimate what date when it came out. This uh, number, for instance, number 20 came out in four 1914. So the one that I have, which is 30 something, uh, was probably around one, uh, 1914 or 15, uh, so you know, a hundred years ago. So I want to play these uh, small five-inch records. They're very interesting, uh, acoustically recorded uh, back in the day, and part of my collection. I'm not sure even where I bought it. I didn't pay a lot of money for it because I don't have a lot of money. So here it is. I'm going to record this uh, on this children's tabletop 78 player. I'm not even sure what brand it is, it might be Victrola, uh, but it's got some uh, Humpty Dumpty and some other children's uh, themed uh, things on it. It's a, obviously a hand cranked tabletop. Bought it on Peaks Island uh, outside of Portland, Maine uh, at a store and it was in pieces and I just, luckily all the pieces were there and I was able to put it back together. But it's a great little unit and I love it and I use it for variety of different uh, recordings, just different sound you know, for the tabletop, especially the ones that are recorded acoustically rather than electrically um, pre-1923. They, I just rather listen to them on an, a purely acoustical type thing. Obviously you want um, to recreate the sound as much as possible. I wish I had a big Victrola with the horn and stuff. I don't have one of those. I'd love to get one of those someday. But this is, uh, this is neat. Check it out. And here we go.
And that's it. That's cute. That is cute. Okay, that's uh, that was a cute little record, as as my daughter just said. That's uh, it's on Little Wonder, uh, something you probably picked up at Woolworths a hundred years ago. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, that sounds like the same uh, song that uh, Marsha Brady did her baton twirling uh, to uh, from the Brady Bunch. What do you think? You think that's the same number? I think it might be. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Anyway, that's uh, that's that. See you later. Say bye. Bye-bye. Adios.